Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. Today I'm bringing you part two of my yard sale haul. I did part one and showed you a little bit of the shopping in yesterday's video and now this is the rest of the stuff that I bought. Let's get into the second part of the haul. So <laughs> round two of this. I got the rest of the stuff up here. I think this, oh I do have Two things that are just big and bulky, and I'm not going to bring those in to show you. They are they are in my garage, so I'm just going to insert photos right here. One is uh, the big pineapple tiered Lazy Susan type thing. I believe it's made of monkey pod or possibly teak. That I showed in the video, so I'll just insert a photo of it right here. So that right there, I did look that up after the fact. I paid 15 for it. And it's selling on eBay from anywhere between $15 and $89. So crazy difference. I am definitely going to price mine closer to the 89 mark. And I actually think I am going to list mine over on Etsy. There are not as many listed there, and the ones that are, are higher priced. I don't think anyone is listed under 75 there. And the one that is listed at 75 is one layer. It's not tiered like mine is. So that is probably where I'm going to put it. So the next thing I bought, I actually purchased at the same place. She wanted 10 for this. I paid 8 for it. It's... I'll insert the photo right here. This is a Telco Santa. Since I don't have it in front of me, I can't remember the exact title, but it's a Santa going into the refrigerator. It moves and a lot of people really like those for their Christmas displays. If you've ever watched the show, The Great Christmas Light Fight, I don't have cable anymore. It was just ridiculous, the price I was spending on DirecTV. It was like $160 a month, and I wasn't even really watching it that often. So now, for the past basically year, I, I just watch. I have Netflix and Hulu and, you know, obviously, like, YouTube and stuff like that I watch more than anything. So... But anyway, if you do have cable and you've watched The Great Christmas Light Fight, you know uh, these people work all year long on their displays and, you know, like they want to do everything bigger and better year after year. And it's like their hobby. It's like they get really into it and they love these type of pieces for their displays. Now, I'm sure they're not the only people buying them, but I feel like the Christmas, the real Christmas enthusiasts are the one buying these and they pay good money for them. I usually sell pieces like this for $50 or more. This one I haven't looked up, but I feel like it's even nicer than some of the other ones I've sold in the past. So I will have to check that out, but that was a pretty awesome buy if you ask me for $8. So keep an eye out for Telco. Even Telco Easter bunnies do really well. So, Moving on now to items I do have in front of me. Okay. So I picked this up. This is a Disney Mickey Mouse. It says 1928, but I know it's not from 1928. It's got a China sticker on the back. So I'm not really sure what the 1928 is. Maybe, you know, it's just like a commemorative type deal. Could that have been when Disney... It might have been. It might have been when Disney was started. Wow. Wow. Uh, am I the only one who doesn't know that? I bet I am. I haven't been to Disney yet, but I would love to go one day. And I plan on going. Anyway, I thought that looked cool. Okay, so from the same place I bought this. This is a false graph mug. This is a... Yeah, it's the nature wood pattern. There's one that looks very similar to nature wood. And also Nature Wood has different styles in their, in, within the pattern. This one I thought might be 
pretty decent, so I picked this up. I don't know. I paid 50 cents for it. Maybe I'll get 10 bucks for it. So then I picked this up. This was a quarter. This is Fitz and Floyd. Just kind of like a, it's called Chase 2. So like a Chase, that's not a Chase lounge chair, is it? Well, I don't really know, but it was a quarter, so I bought it. And then I picked these up. I actually picked up, I, I have another larger plate, but it's got a chip in it. So I'm just going to throw that out. I'll just sell these as a pair. People love their lighthouses. This is a Secura by the Sea by David Carter Brown. I always do well with lighthouse and nautical stuff. So I will probably sell these two as a set, the salad plate and the dinner plate. It's a shame the other was chipped, but I paid a dollar for all of those and these. And this too, one, I had an extra two of these. One was chipped and the other one had a lot of crazing and these don't. So I'm just going to sell this set of three. I don't know. I don't know how these are going to do. I've never... Brushes, earthenware. I might have sold that before. It almost looks like a tabletop's unlimited kind of font. But it's called sand. It's just like sand colored kind of with different shells and starfish and whatnot. So again, nautical theme. I think... I think they will do all right. I'll sell that set of three. So that all came out of the same place as did this. Ooh, I shoved something else in here, so I'm going to take it out. Actually, I shoved a bunch of stuff in here. This was $2. It's like a wooden magazine holder. I will put this on Etsy. I mean, it's not like super beautiful or anything, but it's kind of, you know, retro looking. Someone might like that, I hope. This is, uh, what do they call this stuff? It's not wicker, something like wicker. There's a name for this and I can't think of it. It's like on chairs. You see this on chairs. So I don't know. I just thought it was kind of neat, like vintage, $2. I picked this up at the one house. I believe I showed this maybe. Just a little Lee, Lee Bien. Maybe that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. It's inside painted. So this is painted from the inside, which I mean, that's some incredible talent to stick that brush up inside that little tiny hole there and paint this, right? These are, I think they used to be sold somewhere else, but now they're really sold a lot at Pier 1. And every Christmas, I sell a ton of these. Like, they fly out of my store. This is the smallest one I've ever sold. I usually sell larger ones. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, each piece is hand-painted in reverse through a tiny opening in the glass and requires keen skill, I imagine it does, and concentration to complete. Yes, it originated, the inside painting originated in China. So yeah, anyway, these are cool. All right, then I picked this up. This is just like a little halter sundress type thing. I paid 25 cents for this. It's Indian tropical fashion. So it's not like any real like brand or anything. It's probably sold at a resort or something like that. But for style, I bought this on style alone. And for a quarter, you can't go wrong. I mean, you can't even find those prices at the bins. So then I bought this Starbucks mug. It's like very vintagey. Vintagey. The mug says Shalor, if that's how you say it. I don't know if the lid. I don't know if that's really like the lid for this. Is this really a Starbucks mug? It says Starbucks. 
Not marked on the bottom. It is like a travel mug. I don't know, but I thought it was kind of unique and different. And I paid a dollar for it, so I picked it up. I picked this up. It's a mercury glass man in the moon ornament. I'm not really sure who made Oh, Department 56 made it. This guy is just kind of cool and kind of a little bit creepy now that I look at it. Like, I don't know. Would you want that hanging on your tree? <laughs> I don't think I would. It's kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. I mean, I like weird things, but not staring at me on my Christmas tree. And where else do you hang ornaments, right? Do people, maybe people just hang those up. I don't know. Anyway, then I picked these up. These were Mark 10. The lady gave them to me for a, I asked her if she would give me any kind of a discount because I was buying multiple items from her. So she said, sure. And instead of giving me a bulk price, she actually went through every item and was like, okay, well, this is 10. I'll give you them. I'll give them to you for eight. And then like, okay, this is five. I'll give it to you for four. And like went through every, went through every individual item like that. So, but anyway, these are Dolce Vita and they're not Dolce Vita for Target. They're actually just Dolce Vita, which is a good brand. And these are like, have these been used? Yeah. But very gently. And these are just a really nice pair of suede ankle boots. Like these are very, very I mean, you can just feel they're, they're good quality. So then I picked up some clothes from her. She had all of these soft surroundings pieces and if any of you are fashion resellers you know soft surroundings typically does really well especially if you can find the style name of the piece like if it's something kind of current on their website or whatever because soft surroundings has quite a following and their stuff is pretty pretty costly so this is like a sweater what is this i don't think that's a spot I think it's just the way the lighting is looking on the wrinkles. Um, but it's like a sweater with like a ruffle kind of bottom. This one I believe was Mark 3 and I think she gave it to me for 2. I might not remember exactly because all the prices were on the hangers and then she took them off the hangers. And then I picked these up. I know these were 5 so she gave them to me for 4. These are a pair of corduroys by... Carved Designs. I have never heard of Carved Designs, but they have a price tag of $86 and they are new. So I figured for four bucks, I would give those a shot. Oh yeah, there's a sticker on that one. They were marked five. Got them for four. So, got those. Then I got this. This is also soft surroundings. This is probably newer because it's not even a tag. It's just like stamped on here. This is a petite extra small. That's going to be one heck of a size to try to sell. But I picked it up anyway because it was soft surroundings. But I will tell you, I spent way too long staring at this thing on the hanger because I couldn't figure it out. First of all, like, doesn't it look like it's missing part of it? Like, this is a weird shirt right here. Because I'm like, all right, soft surroundings, I believe, is geared toward an older woman. Not a super old woman, but not like, not someone in their teens or 20s is like what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, I don't think, you know, an older woman is going to be wanting to wear a crop top. And this reminds me of a crop top. And then I'm like, well, what the heck happened to the bottom? And I'm looking up inside of it. Like, did, did somebody like sew it up or tape it up? It looks like someone just wanted to make it shorter and taped it up with duct tape or something. <laughs> I've, I've bought jeans like that where I'm like, okay, what's going on with the leg? And you're like, oh, wow, it's duct taped. But anyway, so this is in fact, I believe, made like this. It's got like this mesh lining 
and it doesn't look like anything has been altered with it at all. I don't know. This is. I hope I can find the style for this, because this is like a real bizarre. This is a real bizarre piece. I hope it. Oh yeah, it has a tag or a care tag inside, and it's got the style number. If I can find it, if I can find the style in a photo of this, I'm gonna like put it up here for you guys because. Doesn't that look like a crop top? But it's also a petite extra small, so I'm sure it would hang lower on a petite person, but yeah. That thing baffled me. I literally, I stood there for a while. So then I picked these up. These are soft surroundings also, and they look brand new. I was super stoked about these. Look how crispy that looks. They're a size four and they're like a legging. They're like black with purple and I don't know, but I think these are gonna do really well. Soft surrounding stuff, like I said, has a following and it typically sells very well. Oh, $4 for those pants too. And I think that little crop top thing, I think it was like, I think it was two. Alrighty, here we have another soft surroundings. This is extra small. This is a dress. And this is very soft. Some of the some of the soft surrounding stuff is not in fact that soft. This is very soft. And it's got like a ruffle type bottom. I wasn't sure if this was like a tunic, like a really long tunic type thing, but the lady told me it was a dress. So So yeah. I paid $4 for that also. And then this last piece from from this lot I bought at this house was $5. She gave it to me for 4. This is a Frank Lyman design, L-Y-M-A-N. I'll just show it to you instead of spelling it. Now, I have to look this brand up. I have never heard of this brand. I have never sold this brand. It's got this little tag on it. Partridge in a pear tree, which appears to be a resale shop tag, okay? So this was sold at a resale shop for, it looks like $200, $200, $200, this thing, Frank Lyman, I really have to look that up. I've never heard of this guy. So, I mean, maybe this was $2, but I don't see any little dot there. It, it really looks like 200. So if this was sold at a resale shop for $200, I can only imagine what the actual retail was for it. So this is a mystery to me. I could be wrong. It could have been $2. Who knows? But I paid four for it. So if she bought it for two and I paid four, well, huh, see who the winner is here. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a nice, nice little purple dress got a cut out back. It's a size 14. Well, that's random. And that does not look like a 14. I mean, I guess it's probably stretchy. It's probably like a sheath dress. But that's weird. She's got all like petite, extra small, extra small size four, size four, and then bam, a 14. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got from that particular house. Then I picked up a set. I'm not going to untangle these or whatever, but I picked these spoons up for a dollar. They look old. They look old. The lady actually said that they were very old and they do. They do look, I still have a, look, there's some water in here behind that rubber band from the rain today. That's crazy. I am gonna have to undo these and dry them off so they don't stain, even though they are stainless, I'm sure, but you never know. Anyway, I picked these up because these look like Bakelite handles. 
I am almost certain that these are Bakelite. So I will have to look those up, but that's, that's a pretty cool find if you ask me. So, I don't know. So I picked up all this Pyrex, not Pyrex, Tupperware. She gave me I think this was $2 for this whole stack. This stuff is all new. I'm not sure what it's gonna go for. It is newer. It is newer Tupperware, but all with lids, green, orange. This is kind of like a coral color. These look like all like kind of soup bowl type things. I'm gonna look this stuff up and it's if it's selling for a decent amount, I will sell it, but I might actually keep some of these. I feel like I bought another set of them, but I don't know where they are. That's weird. That's very weird. I could be missing something then because I really thought that I bought, I thought I bought more Tupperware, like one, one more, one more set. Hmm. I might've. Okay. So then I picked these up. These are crown vintage. I forget where that is sold. It might be Macy's or, or something like that, but I just thought they were like really cool. They're very gently worn. And I just really like the way that they looked. So you get those for $2. All of this stuff was $2 a piece. This is a Lucky Brand size 2X. So that should do, that should do well. Paid $2, should sell that for probably about $18.99. And then I picked up this men's Orvis heavyweight long sleeve tee. It says charcoal, which is the color gray. Originally $49, so bought for two. So Orvis is like a good, you know, like outdoor brand. And then I picked up these because they were new with tags. It's just a pair of pajama pants, uh, I believe Minnesota Vikings. So, and like I said, new with tags, they were $2. I should be able to sell these for maybe like 18 to a Vikings fan. And I think that is it. I think that concludes my haul finally from the yard sales today. I really do think I bought another set of the, the Tupperware though. So I'm not really sure, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. This was what I found in the rain. So you know what? If you guys are like serious about reselling, you have to get out there no matter what, because there, there are deals there are deals to be found and bought. And when it's raining, there's not as much competition. There's just the crazy people like me out there. <laughs> so nothing stops me. All right, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share my video. Tell all your friends about me. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And till next time. Bye.